Welcome to Worship Tutorials. We have new tone match patches and captures available for a wide variety of hardware and software devices based on an original Mesa Boogie. Uh, usually you know the, the, the company as Mesa Boogie and then the amp comes after that like a Lone Star or a Mark 7, whatever. This is the Mesa Engineering Boogie. So the story behind this amp. We're going to do a really quick history of Mesa Boogie in the late 60s, early 70s. Randall Smith begins as a practical joke, which I find hilarious in itself. Uh, he begins taking Fender Princetons and modifying them as a joke to be 100 watt amplifiers. So he makes 100 watt Princetons. And he sort of eventually settles on this one, uh, one, a 100 watt Princeton 112 combo as his amp. And then uh, in the 70s, he began making that amp uh, and then players would buy it. Now, the reason that the company is called Mesa Boogie and this amp is called The Boogie is because Carlos Santana stopped by, as you know, as, as he would, uh, to Randall Smith's place. And he played one not knowing what it, he he thought he was plugging into a Princeton and he plugs into this thing and, and Randall Smith is like, you got to play this amp. And Carlos is probably like, well, it's a Princeton. I've played one of those. It's not what I want. So he plugs into it, plays it. Lo and behold, it's a 100 watt Princeton that sounds amazing. And Carlos looks at Randall and says, man, that little thing really boogies. And so there you go. Mesa Boogie. Uh, this one is, you could think of this as a Mark I, but it really kind of predates Mark I because they didn't call the Mark I the Mark I until the Mark II came out. Do you follow? That was in 1980. So we're in the 70s. He's building these 100 watt Princetons, and this one is serial number 98. So this is one of the first 100 uh, boogies that Randall Smith built as Mesa Engineering. Uh, so it's early. Some of the, the, the Mark I amps that were built back in the 70s have like the push-pull uh, pots on the gain, uh, on the gains on the, on the amp to give you more like gain out of the amp. Ours doesn't even have that. So this, pre, this is early, early Mesa Boogie. Uh, and this thing sounds amazing. If you ever wondered, what, 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 what does a 100 watt Princeton sound like? And you thought, Thought it in your, that's what, it just sounds like a really, really big, huge Princeton. And it gets some gain out of it. And it's not a high gain amp. So if you think of Mesa Boogie, like, you know, the rectifiers and stuff, the high gain rock stuff, that's not what this is. This is very, very vintage uh, Fender territory, just bigger because it's 100 watts through a 12 inch speaker. So we've captured it for the following things currently available, maybe more in the future. It's all going to be linked below. Uh, you can get it for Line 6 Helix, HX Stomp, Pod Go. You can get it for Fractal, FM3, FM9, Axe FX3. You can get it for Headrush Prime. We've got clones. We've got rigs based on the uh, the amp. You can get it for uh, Kemper. You can get it for Tonex. Uh, once Quad Cortex opens that marketplace, it'll be available. If some other piece of hardware comes on the market that can capture an amp, it might be available for that as well. All of that linked below. Uh, as always, with our patches, presets, captures with these packs, um, we've made it as fully featured as we possibly can. So for, you know, the all-in-one units like Axe FX3, Helix, you've got stomps, you've got snapshots, you've got scenes built in. For like Kemper and Tonex and things like that, we've made multiple captures of the amp all through its gain range. Uh, this is a really cool... Um, pack. This is a these are really cool sounding presets, especially if you like vintage Fender tone. But I think what makes this one cool is like it's a piece of like rock and roll and amp gear history. Like this is you know these things are rare. Um, this was a, a friend of ours let us borrow this amp. We don't we don't own this amp. Uh, these would be hard to come by if you wanted to buy one. So it really was just a privilege to be able to have this thing for a while, to play through it, to capture it, to digitize it, and then to offer it to you. So links below to download this for whatever device you're playing. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.